I am here to tell you a story about pain, murder, and redemption. The year was 2045, and the world was in chaos. Society lost its love for humanity. Anger and hatred spread like a plague, and eventually, it led to nuclear war. Every modern country on the planet decided to send nukes to their rivals. In this last great war, we all lost. Luckily, multiple cities planned for this crisis and created domes to protect their cities from the nuclear winter that followed. While this allowed multiple cities to thrive, some cities decided to falsely claim to be the only inhabitable place on the planet. One of these cities was Sanatorian, a futuristic city filled with advanced technology. Our story begins here in 2145, 100 years after the nuclear bombs hit. In the apartment of a man named Ford, a simple reporter who knew too much and was about to meet a mysterious assassin named E-77. You think you can just sneak into my home? And I wouldn't notice. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that, Mr. Ford. This will be quite unfortunate for you. How? I shot you in the head. How are you still standing? Well, you see, I'm not like you. I'm not living it. I... I don't understand. You're... here to kill me, aren't you? Yes, I am. And there's no escaping it. You will die by my hands. So please stay still. It's worse if you run. E-77's words struck fear into the soul of Mr. Ford. As a last resort, Ford began to run for his life. E-77 pulled out his gun and began to shoot at his target. Ford crashed into a window and jumped straight out of his 30-story building, but was caught by E-77. Now, hanging 30 stories high outside of a window, Ford must figure a way out of his situation. This unpredictable behavior causes E-77 to witness a flashback from a forgotten memory. E-77 sees a little girl with a birthmark near her nose. He's quickly drawn back to the present. E-77 is holding Ford's hand, keeping him from certain death 30 stories high. I have to let go. I'm sorry. Why save me if you were just going to kill me? You glitched me out by being too unpredictable. The targets usually don't try to kill themselves by jumping out of a window. I can't avoid my programming. My mission. I'm sorry. I really am. No! No! You can't! E-77 regretfully lets go of his target. Completing his mission, but causing him to shut down. A robotic assassin awakes in Afterlife Industries, the place that created him. There. He is greeted by a familiar face, a woman named April, an intelligent and beautiful robotics engineer in charge of keeping E-77 in one piece. <laughs> 